This episode of CleaningBiz.TV is made possible by Marketing Systems by Design. Are you struggling with marketing? Tossing your money at whatever marketing tactic seems to be a good idea at the time? How's that working for you? Visit MarketingSystemsByDesign.com and download the free marketing ebooks that will help you get on the road to more business today. I'm Jean Hansen and this is a show that will help turn your vision into a successful cleaning business. I've talked to hundreds of cleaning business owners over the years and I've found that many of the successful ones have several things in common when it comes to succeeding in this type of business. First and foremost, they have a passion for their business. A lot of people get into the cleaning business because they're desperate to get out of their current job and this sounds like an easy kind of business to start. After all, it's not rocket science, right? But if you don't feel a burning passion for your business, it will soon become more like the job you're trying to get out of. Successful cleaning business owners have an energy about them. They're full of excitement and enthusiasm about their business. You can see it the minute you start talking to them. Along with passion, they also have a will to succeed. If you want to be successful in your cleaning business, you must have the will to succeed. And that means being tenacious about making your business work. If you have that will to succeed, you'll see all the problems and challenges that will come along as opportunities. And you won't throw in the towel because the going gets tough. Successful cleaning business owners have a vision and a plan. They know exactly what they want from their business and they can easily visualize it. But a vision won't get you anywhere without a plan. When you put the two together, you've got a winning combination. Next, they take calculated risks. If you want to be successful, you must get out of your comfort zone. If you stay in your comfort zone, trust me, you'll never grow your business to the level that will make you happy. At some point, you'll need to invest in equipment and technology. You'll need to hire more staff, add more services, or take on larger accounts. In order to do that, you'll need to take a risk by getting a loan, delegating more responsibility to employees, investing in additional training and certifications, and marketing on a larger scale. But if you plan for the growth and take calculated risks, you'll succeed at growing your business. And lastly, successful cleaning business owners surround themselves with the right people. The biggest struggle you'll have in growing your business is finding the right people to help you grow. If you continually make the wrong hiring decisions, your growth will either stagnate or get out of control. So work hard at getting better hiring procedures in place and work even harder at retaining your best people. So what do you think of these five things you need to be successful in the cleaning industry? Do you agree? Do you have anything else you believe is critical to your success? Please share your thoughts by posting them below the video at cleaningbiz.tv. That's it for today's show. If you need more help with marketing your cleaning business, check out the free marketing ebooks at marketingsystemsbydesign.com. I'm Jean Hansen and you can find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Just look for the links at cleaningbiz.tv. See you next time. Mm -hmm.